back everybody to my fitness for beginners series um, I hope you guys enjoyed the last video I know that normally I would have posted on Sunday but I was a little bit behind you know holidays things like that so sorry this is coming out late but it's finally here and we will finally be talking about strength and hypertrophy or as most people will know it training for size or muscle mass get into anything if you are here um, watching this video after watching my last video on Elliot page I did want to uh, sincerely apologize if um, my misgendering and my post edit um, segmentation made you uncomfortable or upset you that wasn't my intention um, everybody in the comments was 100% right. I should have took the time to reshoot that uh, segment. No excuses. It was late. I wasn't thinking and I should have just reshot it. So I do want to apologize for that um, <clears throat> because that wasn't my intention. I understand um, being misgendered and um, that feeling of uh, not necessarily inadequacy but but being un unseen so I do sincerely apologize to you guys and even though I know they're not watching my video I do sincerely apologize to Elliot Page for that. Usual I am not a doctor I'm not a dietitian I'm not a registered nurse um, all the tips and advice and information that you take from my video is done at your own risk right into it I do have a few of my notes here um, we're gonna start with strength so strength for most people um, is gonna be basically you know training to lift heavier weights so just training for overall um, muscle fiber activation Usually the people who you will think about um, who are training for strength are going to be power lifters um, for like power lifting meets um, where the, um, the main goal is to try and lift as much as you can in your weight class and you know competitively trying to you know lift a heavier weight than somebody else. In terms of reps, you are normally going to be lifting anywhere between um, one to six reps. Uh, this can vary depending on what kind of style training you're doing for strength training. Um, I'll get a little bit into um, that overlapping gap on um, training for size versus strength when it comes to reps because once you get into a, like the six, the five to six, in my opinion, six to seven range, you're doing a little, there's a little bit of overlap depending on how you're doing it. So another thing that is very characteristic of strength training is going to be that after you complete a set, your rest time is generally going to be longer. You're going to be in the like three to five minute rest periods um, it can go upwards of that depending on how much you're lifting if you're doing one rep maxes you might be doing somewhere between um, six to maybe seven minutes I don't really train for strength um, so it, I'm not like too positive generally people will do about five to six minutes in between rest for their rest and then um, other people will just do it once they feel ready to, to, to do another set. For trophy or training for size, usually the people that you think of when you hear this term, and this is what most people think of in terms of working out in general, are going to be people who are bodybuilding. Classic physiques, 212, massive like men, um, Ronnie Coleman, uh, uh, Chris, Chris Bumstead, um, Greg Doucette, uh, people who are uh, trying to get um, as large as possible and as lean as possible. That's who you're really normally going to be thinking of when you say hypertrophy or training for size. To note that usually um, if you're just trying to get cut for the summer this is also usually like the people who are usually trying to get like the beach body are usually also trying to to, to train for hypertrophy when it comes to hypertrophy um, are going to be a little bit higher um, not quite as high as training for endurance where you're like 
20 to 30 reps. Um, usually uh, training for size is going to be somewhere around, um, the standard recommended is eight to 12. Um, me personally, I like to train roughly around the 10 to 15 range, mainly because I really, um, trust Greg Doucette. That's kind of what his programs recommend. Um, eight to 12, I can't, like my, I, I notice my progress does, is not as good. Um, so having 10 be my lowest set really makes me um, try and focus on like not ego lifting, um, but also kind of like really exhausting um, my muscle fibers. So one thing that can be a little bit overlapping, like I mentioned previously, is that once you get into the, for, in my opinion, personally, the six to seven rep range, six to eight, um, you are kind of doing a little bit of both. Um, for me, my last set, I kind, my last sets in my workouts, I generally consider, cause they're my heaviest and usually my lowest reps, I usually consider them my strength set. Um, and that's the set where I'm really just trying to focus on um, increasing my reps um, and increasing overall ability to lift that weight. So that would be a little bit of strength, but also I'm doing a little bit of hypertrophy because I am doing it at such a low, a low weight that I'm kind of exhausting it, but also my reps are high enough, I guess you could say, that there's the potential for muscle growth. Another thing that is kind of overlapping with strength and hypertrophy is that with strength, you will naturally gain size, muscle size. It won't be as significant as if you were training for hypertrophy. And the same can be said for if you're training for hypertrophy. You will gain some strength, but it won't overall be as significant or extreme as if you were training for actual strength. So with that being said, um, a lot of people like to, if you're trying to do a little bit of both, a lot of people like to do what is known as power building, um, <clears throat> which is basically where your first sets are usually compound movements. So deadlifts, bench press, um, shoulder press, and those are gonna be in the more strength rep ranges and rest times, and then your accessories workouts, so like, biceps, triceps, um, calves, calves I guess are accessories. Um, those are going to be more in the higher hypertrophy ranges. So um, like your eight to 12 and then three sets. Um, it's also important to note that usually with hypertrophy, you are trying, your main focus is volume. Um, so really pumping out a lot of reps and trying to get in a lot of sets. Now, generally they'll recommend if you're training for hypertrophy or muscle mass, you're really gonna need to be in around, so new, new research says that you can do as many sets as you want um, and you'll be able to benefit, but generally people will recommend you need to be doing about, uh, I think it's 10 to 15 sets per week per, well, not per, per the large muscle groups. Um, I would personally say doing 15 sets of bicep curls is quite a lot. I would say you need to be more in like the six, not six, the 10, about in the range of 10 um, sets if you're gonna be training for hypertrophy with your uh, uh, accessory groups. Um, your large compound movements definitely between 10 to 15. Um, so for example, chest. Chest is the first exercise I do. And I generally am doing about six sets uh, per workout. I work out, um, <clears throat> uh, I work out three times a week. Um, so I'm a little bit higher than the recommended 15, but it's really like more like 10 to 20 sets. Um, is the recommended dose. So I'm right at like about 18. This fluctuates depending on who you are, how your body reacts to it. Some people may benefit from doing a lower amount of overall volume. Some people might benefit from a higher amount of volume. 
it's just one of those things where you have to continuously work out and see kind of what works for you. The way strength and hypertrophy are really overlapping and connected is when you are doing what's known as periodization. Now for a beginner, you won't need this too much um, until you get to what is known as an intermediate lifter or an advanced lifter, in which case this is when this will become heavily relied upon basically because you're going to be cycling between training for strength or hypertrophy hypertrophy depending on what your goal is so for instance if you are trying to get as strong as possible you will basically start with training for hypertrophy for a few months and then when you can no longer um, during those the that, that towards the end of that um, time period build muscle you will switch to um, basically training for strength so that you can use the new weights for your um, hypertrophy and you'll basically continue to flip flop between these two um, until you get to whatever goal that you are trying to reach usually for intermediate and advanced lifters this will generally be really relied upon when it gets closer to um, some kind of competition whether it's a bodybuilding competition or a powerlifting meet Another way that strength and hypertrophy differ is that usually with hypertrophy you are more concerned with, as I mentioned in my last video, tut or time under tension as putting that stress on your muscle, that stimulus is really what is the fuel and foundation for growing that muscle. Whereas with strength, you're really more concerned about just trying to get out that heavy rep whether it's one rep or two reps and the time under tension doesn't really matter you just need to be able to lift that weight so the, it should be noted that when i say you just need to be able to lift that weight it doesn't mean just kind of you know lift it however you can lift it that's not the point you want to be lifting always regardless of whether you're lifting with for strength or hypertrophy under control and with good form and technique. So you should be able to lift heavy weights the same way and light weights the same way. If you can't lift a heavy weight with proper technique and form, lower the weight and just kind of slowly work your way up to that. Lifting sloppy heavy weight is just purely going to get you injured. That's all I can say. You're going to get yourself injured lifting like that. I'm not gonna talk about strength and hypertrophy and not tell you guys some exercises. Um, the key, and this is where these both kind of overlap, key exercises in terms of weightlifting when it comes to both strength and hypertrophy are always going to be um, <clears throat> your like five by fives. So you're like, I like to call them like, the golden five basically um, so deadlifts squats bench press shoulder press and I kind of consider them both one thing um, your rows and your lat pull downs um, those are basically all going to be working your like you can do a full body workout with just those um, because they're large compound movements so they're working a lot of different muscle groups at the same time uh, like for example, bench press, you're getting your chest in and you'll also get in your triceps. Deadlifts, obviously you're gonna be getting in all of your, your like legs. You're gonna be getting your hamstrings, your quads, and your glutes. Um, <laughs> so those are the, the golden five, I would say, if you are going to be um, training for, regardless of which one you're training for, you can start with those five um, exercises and get a pretty good like bare bone workout in. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hit that dislike button so I know maybe I need to change some things. If you do hit that dislike button, let me know what you found was wrong with this video. Um, I really did like all the feedback on the last video and it's definitely making me think more critically about what I need to do for all of my videos. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification button so you can know when I upload and you can stay on, up to date on when I post. And 
as usual, it is your boy Matt Turner out. Um, I hope you guys are having a great evening or night wherever you are, and I will see you next week.